I'm Kimberly Kate and welcome to Kim Taster Creations, you guys. So today, you guys, I know I have been waiting to put this video out, which is the Bath and Body Works haul video. I have done many of them before on my channel. So today, you guys, I'm giving you a Bath and Body Works um, haul for those that do not know or did not know. Bath and Body Works do a sale and they do it like twice a year where everything goes on super super cheap because you know bath and body works is a little pricey you know like one lotion can run you 13 dollars and up and you know a candle can run you about 24 50 25 bucks so they go on sale everything is super cheap so all the items i got as far as my body hair ran me between five to seven dollars um candles were on sale so candles that i got ran me 12.95 but like i said usually candles are like 24 50 25 bucks so everything was super super cheap reasonable price and i you know if you a person like me who loves bath and body works that's the time to go ahead and stack up on your favorite items and your favorite scents and like the retired um scents that they have so i'm gonna come on here today you guys and just show you guys what i have i have my box of goodies right here and we're gonna go ahead and get started so i have two of them sitting out to start with and then i'm gonna just pull them from the box no no particular order i'm just pulling reading telling you guys what i have okay so we're going to start with this one right here okay this is fresh coconut colada this one i smelled the coconut in it but it also has like a baby powder smell to it so it's not a real strong smell but it's not a real light smell neither it has like a good um, scent to it but it smells like um, coconut with like a mixture of baby powder so if you like that baby powder type smell then you will like this one I do like this and once again it's fresh coconut colada the next one I have is the country chic body cream this one is a real soft smell it's real soft it really smells like a flower. Like if you was like one on to smell like a sunflower or something. That's what it smells like. But it's a very soft smell. This one would be good for nighttime. Because you know usually at night you don't want anything that's real strong. You know you, you go into bed. That sometimes can you know interrupt your sleep when you have like strong smells on you. So something light and soft for bedtime. This one right here would be good. And that is the country chic. Okay, you guys. Next one we have is the Raspberry Tangerine Body Cream. This smells so good. This smells like a piece of candy. Like you really want to open this and eat this like this was some was some candy. Super super good smell. Super good. Raspberry Tangerine. Okay, the next one I have, you guys, is Pretty as a Peach. I am familiar with the Pretty as a Peach um, smell because I have got it before. They just changed the, um, you know, the um, the bottle. It smells good like always. It does smell like peach or like if you had a peach Jolly Rancher piece of candy or something like that, that's how this smells. So if you like to smell real fruity and real sweet, then like the um, um, Pretty as a Peach or like the Raspberry Tangerine that will give you that type of smell this one right here is rose champagne this is a more stronger smell it smells super good but it's a more stronger smell so like if you were going out or something you know and you want to put this on this will be perfect and it's it really smells good it really does i like this one you know what it kind of give me it kind of gives me uh, a um like if a, a, a man cologne. That's the type of, like the type of smell it gives me. Like to me, this one can go for a woman or a man. It's like that type of smell. And this one again is the rose champagne. This is uh, raspberry tangerine. As you know, I got this one, and I also got. The cream so i got both of them and i already told you guys how it smell sometimes the sprays can smell different than the creams smell the same it smells the same really smell good like like i said if you had a piece of candy or something uh-oh 
Okay, you guys, this is the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. This is new to me. I never smelled this one. I like this. Now, this don't even smell like just like a body spray. Because, you know, body sprays usually tend to be like lighter smells. This smells like, like some strong perfume to me. Yeah, it smells like some strong, like some real strong perfume. Like if you were going to spray perfume or something like that. So it's the passion fruit and banana flower, you guys. Okay, next one is the citrus surf. I'm going to have to spray this on. I'm going to have to spray this one on, you guys. Because I can really smell it. You know what it smell like? <laughs> this one smell like the Glade plug-ins. Like when you do the plug-in air fresheners, that is exactly... Mm -hmm. It smell like the Glade plug-ins. So this one to me, I don't know if I really would like to wear this one on my... I think why it's making it smell like that is that citrus, because you smell that citrus smell. I would like to probably use this one and spray it like on some... Like, you know, you spray it on your bed and your sheets and stuff, because I do do that. I'm sure others do as well. That This will be good for that. And I ordered all my items offline because stores, I wasn't going to stores. Let's just leave it at that, okay? So I ordered everything offline. So this one right here is the Sun Washed Citrus. I don't even remember ordering this one, you guys. I'm going to spray it on a different angle. I don't like to rub it in. Same. Same just like the other... Um, citrus one I had so these two to me smell like Glade plug-ins or some type of air freshener or plug-ins or something like that I don't really know if I will wear these on my body or if I will use them But I will use them for like to spray things certain things down. Yes Next one you guys I have the ice pear margarita and this one smells like the um, cucumber melon. So if you had that cucumber melon one before, that is how this one smells. It, it smells like the cucumber melon. So I like it and I would definitely use it. The next one I have, you guys, is a blackberry. Let me see. I don't want to spray them all on me. This one smells good as well. It smells good. It's a light, it's a light smell. Real soft. I like it. Next one, you guys, I have is the Papaya Sunset. I don't want to spray so many fragrance on me. But I'm going to have to give you guys an honest review of it. Let's see how I smell. This one smells like, what, what's they scent they had, you guys? And it was red. Matter NASCAR, am I saying it right? Well, if I'm saying it correctly, I have to look at my old collection, but this one smells just like that. It's like that more stronger smell. So this is one like I would use every now and then. Nothing I would wear every day because it's super, super strong. And again, this is the Papaya Sunset. The next one I have is Pretty as a Peach, and you know I had the body cream, so... Where's the body cream? It's pretty as a peach. So pretty as a peach. Pretty as a peach. I already told you it smells like the Jolly Rancher candy or some type of peach candy. It smells pretty. Um, this just matches the one I was just telling you about, the blackberry, and I have the cream to it as well. Next one I have, you guys, is vanilla bean. This one is super, super soft. It smells like vanilla. It has a real soft smell. I love it because sometimes I just love those more softer smells, especially if I'm at home because we still have a pandemic going on. So we're not really out and about like that. So being at home, I really like soft smells. I don't want nothing or anything just really too strong to be wearing at home. Okay, and I also got the vanilla bean cream. The next one is black coconut sands. I'm gonna, spray, I'm gonna spray it up here. Rub it in a little bit. This one smells too like okay. So if you ever had 
their fragrance at the beach that is how this smells, and i really love it because if you have not seen my previous bath and body works hauls before at the beach is one of my all-time favorites so i love this one i love this one this is the black coconut sands love it i i really do love that one i done got excited y'all i done got excited okay i have some margarita cupcake shower gel i'm not gonna open to smell because it's sealed and i'm not gonna open it right now these ones are from the man collection which is the midnight and i'm not gonna open it because it's sealed so i have this one and i do have the spray and i got this for my husband and they do smell good they do really good i got some hand sanitizers i believe i got six in a bag if i'm not mistaken i believe it was six and the kind I got was pineapple colada. So I did get some hand sanitizers. They're small. They come in the bag like this. And I, get, I believe I got six in the bag. And I believe I paid eight bucks for them. But don't quote me on that. Because I can't remember. Okay. So then I have the sparkling peach sangria. And this is a um, body cream. I love the bottle of this i think it's so pretty i love the colors it just remind you of summertime or like um on the beach and the sun is setting i just i love the bottle of this but i'm gonna use a little bit of this now mm -hmm. oh, this is giving me a smell giving me more than peach mm, I love this this out of all of them I think this is one of the favorites that smells really really good this smells really you guys this smells super super good if you have not tried it this is an A plus like five stars this smells super super good super good Okay, you guys. I did. Well, this, they have it in the. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can break it open. And they got this thing. And they packaged honey. Okay, take it off the package. And this right here, you guys, is the Reset Bath and Body Works. So, I guess it's called Reset. With natural essential oils and body, it's a body lotion. But the reason I got this one because this bottle is so beautiful. And I have another one like this from my older collection. And these bottles, you know, you can keep refilling them with lotion. But I got this because I thought the bottle was so beautiful. And I'm like, I can put this in my, um, if I'm not sitting on my nightstand, in my kitchen, my bathroom, however and it just be a real pretty pretty bottle um city and at the time when i was thinking about when i ordered this i was going to do my kitchen in like a peach and a gold and i none changed that around but however the bottles are super super beautiful i'm not gonna adjust it for it to come out yet because i'm not ready to use it but um i hope it smells good but the bottle is so pretty so even if it doesn't i really got this particular lotion right here really for this bottle i thought the bottle was just super super cute okay so the next we have you guys is the candles remember candles were running 12.95 so this one right here is the vanilla cola candy and that's what it smells like. So if you drink cola pop, that is how this smells. Just like the cola pop. So if you don't like vanilla and you don't like that Coca-Cola pop, like when you drink a um, cola pop, this candle will not be for you. But since I love the smell of both of them, this candle is definitely for me. And it really smells good. And it also gives you a little bit of a smell of like a um, peppermint candy cane. Just a little bit. It does. And then we have another one, you guys. Y'all, they be putting them in here. I have to figure out how to open these. Like, dang, thing. that's right. The technique. Okay, the next one I have is raspberry tangerine, just like the um, lotion. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, honey. This one is going on my nightstand. I will sleep with this one burning. This smells so good. This one smells really, really good, you guys. And you guys, that completes the bath and body works haul. So, you guys, I think I picked out some good ones. Like I said, I'm sure the sale is over by now. But always, if you shop at Bath & Body Works, always catch them sales because the items are super, super cheap. Like I said before, Bath & Body Works can run very expensive. One lotion will cost you about 13 bucks. So you definitely want to catch them sales. They do it twice a year. I believe the next sale is around January sometime. So make sure you catch the sales, like catch them, especially for the candles. So if you are a candle lover, them candles run 24, 50, like 25 bucks. No one is paying 25 bucks for a candle. Well, some people do. I'm not paying 25 bucks for a candle. So catch them when they're costing you about um, $12.95. And sometimes you can get them cheaper. So you have to catch the sales. You most definitely have to catch the sales. But that concludes this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also tell me about your Bath & Body Works items that you picked. Because I know a lot of us did go ahead and catch that sale. And if you want to know more about any of the fragrance, the scents, how they smell, you already know what to do. Drop me a message in the comment section. And always remember, you guys, share the video, like the video, comment on the video, hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I do an upload. And remember, you guys, I woke up safe, feeling good, and great mood, looking, and getting blessed, and all that great stuff. And I hope you woke up feeling the same. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Fantastic, and welcome to the bonus part of my video, you guys. I'm so happy to bring you this bonus. But before we even get into the bonus, just let me say thank you for watching my Bath and Body Works haul, and I hope you enjoyed everything that I purchased. Now, let's get on with this bonus. The bonus part of this video, you guys, is I found some wonderful reads over on Amazon, and I wanted to share them with you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into this bonus, you guys. So the first read book. I found over on Amazon was a book called I Love You Daddy. It's a super, super cute book, you guys. Just so cute. Now, I didn't read the full book yet. And I'm going to tell you why I haven't read the full book yet. But I haven't read the full book. I glanced through the book and I seen some parts. And I already know it's about a little baby bear that love their daddy so much because the daddy is so motivating. Everything the little bear thinks he can't do, daddy motivates him and he gets the job done. So this is going to be a super, super cute read. And I think it's super cute. Add it to your collection. I mean, like, why not? it's a super cute book now why i haven't fully read this book yet because i'm going to read this book over on honey bunnies read along that's my other youtube station you guys so if you have not like i said if you have not subscribed over there please you guys go over there and subscribe to honey bunnies read along it's a children's station it's for the children and i mean adults too if you like to hear these type of um listen to these kind of books being read but i made that station especially for children why because i love reading like i just love reading cute little books and i love children and you should know i have six children well i got five and one adult but however i had six children so i love children i love reading books to children i think books are so wonderful and what i like to do over there as well is i like to read the book to the to the children which i call my little bunnies so i like to read the books to my books to the little bunnies and i like to discuss it and i really like to you know really get into the book and about what did you learn what did you like but i just love doing that and i would like to bring more things to that channel but right now i'm just you know starting off with reading the books but i would like to bring art, arts and crafts for the children and you know just other things that's all focused on your children and children learning so that's what i really like to do over on that channel and that channel is strictly for you know the children really it is it's a wonderful channel so like i said if you have not subscribed to honey bunnies read along go ahead over there and sign well subscribe to honey bunnies read along it's free it don't cost you anything you're just subscribing to my channel and i will greatly greatly appreciate it and over there as well hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i come on and i read wonderful books so anyway again i love you daddy i found this book over on amazon and i'm going to try to link all the books in the um, description so you can go ahead and just click it and purchase the book this book was not even four dollars i believe it was like three dollars and something super super cute book okay the next um book i found over there was something that i really really needed so i just ordered me a um ninja and i wanted to make like smoothie drinks and things like that so over there i, I didn't know any recipes so i'm like okay i want these drinks but 
how do I mix these drinks? What kind of recipes can I get? So I needed something that can just guide me through making wonderful smoothies and, you know, just having simple recipes, however. So I, over there, I found the Healthy Smoothie Bible. And I am so excited. This is going to be sitting on my kitchen counter. And I am so excited about this book, you guys. I am so excited. Like, it's just very well detailed. It has... <laughs> this is really the smoothie bible okay it has let me show you guys it has so many recipes everything is outlined nice for you to really understand for you to get the ingredients and then it also has wonderful pictures as well i love a book that has some real beautiful um pictures in it so it it also has real beautiful pictures in the book and it is again called the healthy smoothie bible and i really like it you guys and i just can't wait to really really put this book to use right now i can't put it to use like i really want because as you know we're in the process of moving into that dream home so it's like i have certain stuff packed up and you know so but this would definitely most definitely be sitting on my new kitchen counter you guys so i found this book as well on amazon and it will be linked in the description the next book is a book that i been wanting forever i didn't find this on amazon i mean i found i got it off amazon but it wasn't like oh i it came across and i you know end up finding it i typed it in because i knew i wanted this book i've been wanting this book for a while now i'm so happy i have this book and this is the rick ross book hurricanes i am so happy to have this book this book got great reviews everyone said that it was just a wonderful book to read and I can't read it. and I do like him as a rapper I surely do I love his music so I am so happy to have this book and this will be getting read real soon and I'm just really happy to have it and I can't wait to really see what it's really about like I said it has a lot of great reviews about it now the next book again I got it off Amazon it's not like I found it on amazon i mean I, I didn't have to you know it didn't pop up like i knew i wanted it and i went to the search bar typed it in and that's how i got it but i did purchase it off amazon and i can't say enough about this book you guys like uh, uh, y'all ready to see what i'm talking about are you ready to see what i'm talking about are you ready to see what i'm talking about okay reese witherspoon you guys whiskey in a teacup baby <laughs> i've been wanting this book forever Everybody has beginning Joanna Gaines, her cookbook, which I want that one too. I want that one too. That one already sitting in my, in my, my card on Amazon. I wanted that one as well, you guys. But this one right here, this was at the top of my list. This book, oh my God, you guys, I'm sorry. I have read some stuff through this book, okay? As far as the recipes and things, this book is so beautiful, you guys this book is so beautiful it's like oh my god the pictures and she is so beautiful and her pictures and the details and the recipes and the breakdown when i'm telling you this is a beautiful book this is a beautiful book okay like i am telling you and this book has a lot of pictures this book has so many pictures. I don't think I just need a book. I love pictures in books. I just think pictures in books just add so much character to, the, character to the book and uniqueness. The cover of the book is so beautiful. This is definitely going to be sitting on my kitchen counter in the dream home. The back of the book is beautiful. Like everything about this book right here is such a beautiful book. And I love the title of the book, Whiskey in a Teacup i love it it is beautiful like i really love it like this book is everything and if you do not have this one go ahead and add this one to your um collection and this one as well will be linked down below now you guys now what i want to talk about in one of my previous videos you guys i was telling you guys about getting a journal and if, if you might remember if not however i was telling everyone to go ahead and get a journal and i was saying in this time since we are going through a pandemic i was like hey you know write down all your 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 goals your dreams and your purpose and what is your purpose and if you don't know what your purpose is figure out what your purpose is and you know just start writing down your life and things you want to do and you should start planning and get a planner and i was telling you guys i ordered one for Aaron what's her name Erin conrad conrad whatever her name is i ain't gonna say but I, you know what i'm talking about and i was saying 
you know, get a planner. And I'm they're pricey if you're getting custom planners. So I had got a custom planner. It cost me a little over 70 bucks. I think it's worth every penny. If this book was a hundred books, a hundred bucks, I would have paid for it, okay? So anyway, this is how the planner came out. So like I said, this is a custom planner. So you know it ended up with my I ended up with my pictures on the um cover and then right here it just says Kimberly k dream home because that was my focus for really 2020 is really getting into my um dream home and finding my dream home but you guys this is so beautiful like everything about this like just the details the details of it everything like it's worth every penny like every penny look at the details of it just look like let me show you how some of the pages then it has like isn't this so pretty look at this look at that look how it's just get yourself a custom you don't have to go custom i mean you don't have to be fancy but i want it custom like i really really did i really wanted a custom planner but you don't have to go custom if you don't want to but i did and i think it's worth every penny and you know you can get planners from anywhere amazon have planners i have got cheaper um planners on amazon i just want to go more custom it's just like i had so much thoughts and things and things i'm trying to plan and things i'm trying to do and i just wanted to really get that stuff wrote down so i can just go over it and see how close i am to the dreams and the achievements i'm trying to make so yeah get yourself a custom planner so with, it, with that being said that concludes my bonus part of my video i'm so happy that you stuck around and if you are still here if you are still here i want to thank you thank you so much and you are most definitely a fantastic and subscribe also like comment don't forget to subscribe over at honey bunnies um read along you guys and just tell me what you think also let me also i would like to say this but i'm going to do a more introduction video but i'll put this in here as well i'm going to be doing some stuff far as with my home once i move as you know i'm in that process and it's going to be called um journey to home and it's going to include my husband and in all those videos and we're going to come together and bring you guys some great videos as far as like renovations painting and doing certain things and you know just certain things far as husband and wife as a team so i'm going to definitely bring you bring you guys those videos and that's going to be a whole new different youtube channel so i will end up having like three youtube channels on um youtube but i think it's going to be a wonderful um youtube um channel so everyone stay lift stay blessed stay praised up thank you for watching once again i woke up today feeling good and great move from love and jetted blessing all that great stuff and i hope you woke up feeling the same and if not i hope someone can come give you a smile do something motivate your day to make you feel in a wonderful mood today thank you for watching everyone i'll see you in the next one bye you guys